We're just going to do a little bit of a video showing two things. The cleaning of a northern pike. And uh, lots of people do it lots of different ways. We'll show you the way my brother Chris does it. And we're also going to do a little bit of a review so you can see the new cordless Rapala fillet knife. Here we go. Take it away, Chris. All right. So we start with taking out the, what I call the, the belly fins, I guess. And they ultimately just kind of get in the way once you're uh, taking off the fillets. So that's... Step one. Then you just take the fillets off. Down to the backbone. And then along the backbone. Under the pressure down to keep it on the spine. Oops. Fill it one, flip it over. Repeat. To the backbone, right through the rib cage, mess that one up a little bit, but it'll be fine. Oh, a little bait fish that was in the belly of this one. Good to know for a fishing future. And the rib cage has to come out. Got to find the top edge. Get it started and you angle up. That's that. I'm just going to take this one off. Do this other one real quick while I'm here. My knife is a little dull. We've cleaned several fish this week. So that's the rib cage. Next is the Y bone. So, the way in front of you, top of the fish. Turn the knife along the top here. Pops the Y bones up. You make a small incision, just about a sixteenth of an inch above these little Y bones. <clears throat> they run this way. Then you sweep down towards the back, like so. Not all the way through to the skin. You don't want to cut through the bones. And the second one, the lateral line is over this side. So you just go down the lateral line, which is below the Y bones. You go this way. This is the way the Y we're going. Pull it back. And are, are you feeling them? Are you hearing them? You raise the knife up, they do tick. You try to take as little, leave as much meat on the field as you can. So that's kind of it. And you, you just get a little sliver like that, and then a simple, you just pull right out. Like that. Excellent. And then uh, overall, what's been your impression of the Rappel and knife? It's really good. It's a lot less uh, fatiguing than a small knife you go through the ribs the fillets are a lot cleaner the trick with a wall with a pike is to get a good clean fillet off to start and that's been the main benefit of the Rapala knife for sure and give us an idea we're talking how many fish have you had to clean this week here well it's we're allowed to take home 16 walleye and 24 pike and we've eaten several so I've probably cleaned upwards of 30 or 40 fish I would think this week easily dynamite thanks for showing us You're welcome